Uh, hello everyone, welcome to Pit Sim. It was a while ago since I hit Prestige 20, and I'm actually Prestige 25 now, but I unlocked Uber Streak. You may recognize it from normal Pit, you probably will actually, but you have to get a 500 kill streak with while getting a bunch of debuffs every 100 kills. If you die out of 500 streak, you get a rare reward. So we're going to be doing one of those today. I've already done four today, so that means I can only do one more, because you can do a maximum of five a day, unless you buy an upgrade. Not entirely sure what the name of the upgrade is, but I should probably buy it at some point. The perks that I'm going to be using are First Strike, Dirty Strength, and Vampire. For the kill streaks, I'm using Shockwave, Counter Strike, and Assured Strike. Assured Strike is extremely underrated, in my opinion, and it's especially good for Ubers because of obviously the extra damage. In terms of streaking, I'm going to be using, uh, where are they? These ones. So, Golden Heart 3, Electro 2, not Glad 3. That's surprisingly good for Ubers. And of course, just my OG uh, XE3 Shark 3 Gamble 1. So, after the Ubers, I have, well, I have 8 hidden jewel bows to do that I've just been collecting. Three hidden jewel swords and three hidden jewel pants. So I'll do four of the um, eight bows after the uber, and we'll save the rest of the bows and the pants and swords for a different video. Anyways, let's uh, begin the uber streak after I turn my sound down a bit. So extremely annoyingly, Cairo Crypt nerfed electrolytes. He didn't just nerf it slightly, just maybe reduce the maximum time by two seconds or anything. No, he nerfed it to the ground to the point where. Like, if you stop getting kills for 4 seconds, you lose your speed. It is disappointing. It also means I can't use my uh, strat of going into mid, getting like 30 seconds of speed 4, and then reg perooning everyone. That was really fun. I do see, like, kind of why he had a problem with that, but... Alright, so we hit the 100 kill streak, which means we now do minus 50% damage to the bots in mid. Which isn't that bad, because I'm using XE and Gamble, but... It definitely does take away a lot of the kills I would have got. It doesn't affect true damage, I'm pretty sure, which is why gambles are extremely good for Ubers. I've been thinking a lot about Hypixel Skyblock recently, and I don't know if I want to play that game again when I obviously return to Hypixel at some point. Because, it, like, there's that whole thing about the only reason people play Skyblock being that they won't have to play it again when they've eventually finished it. So have I just sort of beat the game early, theoretically? If you think about it, there is no point to the game. Literally everything you do in that game has no effect on anything. And to be honest, if you think about it, anything in any game has no effect on anything. So what's the point of playing any game? I probably shouldn't think about it too much. But anyways, we hit 200 kills. We now heal 25% less from all sources, which isn't really too detrimental because healing is so overpowered in this game. Alright, we're coming up to the 300 kill streak. What you really want to get when hitting a new 100 kills is the zoom effect, which just like, well, if it happens, you'll see what happens. It didn't happen. So I got combo Perun level minus one. What that means is my Perun 3 that I have in my first slot will only be a Perun 2. Now, uh, you wouldn't think that's very bad because I'm obviously not using Perun for streaking, but the problem arises when I get hunted and I don't have a Perun 3 to fight off whatever hunter is hunting me so we just gotta hope that doesn't happen by the way i don't think i've recorded myself using stomp it is the best thing in the entire universe you just you hit the 40 kill streak interval and you just get like 70 billion kills without doing anything it's basically you get i guess the best way to describe it is half a second of multi kill aura with infinite targets multi aura and pit sim would literally be insane. It's pretty much impossible because the anti-cheat here is way too good for some reason. Not that I would cheat anyways, obviously, but like, it's a thing to think about. Also for that, for that like debuff, we got minus two max health, which basically doesn't affect anything. Let's be honest here. The only debuffs that are really annoying is minus one executioner level and the you cannot gain speed effect, which I absolutely hate, by the way. Why is that in the game? So it means exactly what it says it is. You just can't get speed. Who thought that would be a good idea to implement? Like, like, come on. <laughs> Anyways, we hit a 500 kill streak, so we cannot heal. I'm just gonna run over here and say winter in chat and see what happens. Wait, is there no one in mid? Huh, interesting. No one came to winter. 
Okay, VNX got it. All right, so there we go. Six chunks of vial. That is, I think, the best thing you can get from Ubers. So uh, that's pretty good. Up to 33 vials now. I'm gonna save up enough vials and feathers to buy a gem, which I'm then gonna sell for 30 pounds IRL, hopefully. And then I'll just spend that on a branch or something, because imagine having a use for money, am I right? Oh yeah, I also have this pork chop still. Cairo didn't remove it from me, thankfully. Anyways, we still have the jewel glows to do. I'll just do all the jewels, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do all of them. Like, why not? Okay, so, uh, I mean, we can start with the pants, I guess. Actually, I'm starting with um the bows, so I'll just, like, put all those in there. Put all the bows in my hotbar. Oh, I just can't fit them all in. Okay, I have an idea. Wait, I'll put the Xe Gamble there. I'll get speed quickly change to that and then we'll start getting kills okay so when i hit 42 kills all of the hidden jewel bows in my hotbar are going to be activated so that will be cool oh boy okay <laughs> um that was terrible i i looked at it for one second i got an explosive jewel oh actually a sprint drain jewel that is pretty decent 11 lives though this is garbage <laughs> this is bad it literally isn't even an enchant. Please remove those from the jewels. And two more bow enchant place holders. Oh boy, that's brilliant. I mean, I'll probably do some epic trolling with the explosive bow. Not quite sure what, what yet, but it might be cool. All right, I now have three push cups to shove jewels. Two with the, si no, never mind. Okay, that was all the jewels. All right, time for the swords and pants. These are the exciting ones. So obviously I'm going to be hoping for Executioner on the swords, or most other rares apart from maybe Combo Stun. Which would suck, by the way. It's already happened last episode, I'm pretty sure that was. On the pants, I'm hoping for pretty much any rare, or a self-checkout. I really want a pair of those pants, but they just don't seem to exist. As far as I know, only one pair has ever been sold, which was from Volko to Peter to 004, uh, for a gem. A gem is worth £30 IRL, by the way. So, those pants are pretty valuable. Oh, okay, there we go. What did we get? Rick and Berserker. That's just brilliant. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, Berserker, that could be cool, potentially. It's, it's quite a nice enchant, but I am pretty sure it is a common, so I don't think that's really a GG. Alright, what did we get? Oh, what? Wait, does the stomp kills not affect the jewel kills? That's interesting. Okay, I need one more kill. This is the final chance to get something good. I mean, I got mocked pants, I guess. They're low lives, though. I mean, that would be good on real pit, but not on here, I don't think. Alright, so I'm dropping the Punisher Jewel. That's garbage. I mean, I might keep that. It's, it's interesting. I can drop out the counter-offensive jewels and the prick jewels. That's gross. And I guess I'll keep the rest. I don't really know what I'm going to use them for, but I guess they might be useful to have, potentially. Alright, King Buster... Circa and Moctezuma. Alright, so that was disappointing. <laughs> I mean, I can't really complain. I'll, I'll get something good eventually. Like, it's gotta happen at some point. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode of Pit Sim. Uh, Stomp is a very good kill streak. Um, probably my favorite one in the game, as is Uber Streak, even though they're different categories of things, but I very much like both of them. Uber Streak is getting me slowly, very, very slowly richer and richer. So yeah, I'm going to save up until I can buy a gem, and then I'll either sell that for real life money, because I'm pretty sure that's allowed on this server, I'm not 100% sure, uh, hopefully I don't get banned, uh, or I might just use it and actually gem something, who knows. Anyways, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.